Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, so today, I didn't realize this building was going to echo so much, but sorry about that. So today, um, we're going to be working on a few things. Um, Brent's currently cleaning out the free stall because it's been raining the last few days and the cows have been staying in off the pasture and just been on the free stall on the pad. Um, so they're making it very messy, so we're cleaning that out. We just finished milking. Uh, I do have to go out around with the Kubota to push so that he can push the crap in my bucket because we can no longer push it out into the pit like we usually can, so I'll have to go around and help him clean that off with the Kubota, so I have to hurry and make this quick. Um, today we're just going to be letting stuff dry out. We won't be spreading manure and we won't be cutting any new green feed. Um, so we had some time, so we're just going to work on a few things that really need to be done. So uh, one of the things we're going to work on is the sawdust truck. So our truck has electric hydraulic brakes, um, which means if the truck dies, um, you have no way to brake it. The brakes do not work if the truck is not on. So the parking brake broke a while ago, and I don't know if you guys know how that system is. It has like a canister on it that I guess is like a hydraulic motor. Don't quote me on this, I know nothing about this. Um, that pulls a cable um, and tightens some band around the drive shaft or something. Um, and that's not working, you can hear it, so it has electricity to it, but it's not actually tightening the band. So we don't know if the cable is seized or if the hydraulic motor is not working. So we're gonna take that off, and we have somebody that's gonna look at it for us. So we're gonna do that today. Um, and we also need to work on winterizing a few things, which is why I'm in this building. Um, so in the winter, we just close this up. We don't keep calves in here in the winter because it's cool and they would just be too cold in here. So we shut those doors um, and we tarp over this opening. But before that, we need to put the um, silage cart in there. Um, so we'll roll that down today. And um, the reason we're rolling it um, is another thing that I wanted to show you guys. So I think I'm gonna try to look at this today. Um, so it's an electric feed cart, so it has like golf cart batteries and you charge them up with a charging station on the wall um, and then it just runs off its own electricity for a while and then you charge it again. Well, um, we had it sitting in one of these areas right here, which in hindsight was a really bad idea, but we had it sitting there and a cow turned around and hip checked it and broke the key off in the ignition. Um, so now it won't start anymore. Uh, we took the ignition all apart and we've been touching these wires together um, because we had an electrician tell us that that should start it. Um, however, it is not starting. And we know the batteries are charged and everything's all good on it, so it could be the starter or it could be some sort of wiring problem. So I'm going to look at that today and see if I can figure out what's going on there. Um, we don't need it, we just like to have it as a backup in case we have a really bad year where we have um, very little feed and we have to buy haylage from somebody. We don't like to feed the cows haylage or silage, but um, it's just a backup to know that we have options if we have a really, really bad hay year because hay is our only option and it's a little bit scary to only have one option. So we just keep that around and try to keep it going so that we have another avenue of feeding the cows just in case anything goes wrong because hay is not really abundant around here. That's not really an option to go buy more hay. Um, so yeah, I'm rambling, but I got to get out there and help Brent clean out. Um, then we're going to let the cows out and hopefully it'll dry in the next couple days so we can go back out onto the pasture, but it's not looking good, so let's get into our day. So, unfortunately, I have no idea whether or not you guys can actually see me. Um, this should only take like two buckets, um, so it should be quick.
Okay, so Brent was just bedding the free stall and he was finishing up and I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys what I meant. So this little canister thingy um, somehow runs a cable, you can see it right there, um, that holds the parking brake on. Um, and we really need to get that fixed, so we're going to take that off today. Um, also, somebody asked if this is an old Penske truck, and yes, it is. So yeah, we got to work on that. Um, also, you can probably tell by the background that we have, like, no leaves left, so that's depressing. Looks like winter. Yay! So, I forgot to mention that another one of the things that we were planning on doing today um, is bolting the bucket onto the skid steer because the quick attach on it is all worn out. Um, and since the only thing we use it for is to um, scoop sawdust and clean out the barns and such, the bucket is always on it. We just needed a quick and cheap fix, so we just um, bolt the bucket right onto it with these holes you can see. And that works really well. Much, much cheaper than going and buying a new quick attach. So I gotta drive that across the road and Brent's in the shop. He's got the bolts for it and we're gonna throw that on real quick and then we're gonna go take a look at the truck or we may possibly move this first. I don't really know. Yeah. It's so hard to get in here. I'll hit it. One, two, three. There, clean the bucket all out. Got it bolted on, looks much better. I've never seen anything so corrosive in my life as cow manure. It's ridiculous. So, one thing down, two more things to go. So, Brent is out dumping the sawdust right now. And then we're gonna drive the truck over by the shop and we're gonna take a quick look and see if we can't get that thing off and see if maybe the cable is seized or if we just need to take that part um, and have somebody look at it. Yeah, it's like a seven, eight, some of that WD. Yeah, that Yeah, the straw is on it. Try that. Fifteen or an inch. Wow. Okay, so we got that part like most of the way off. The only thing that's still hanging on is the cable and we're not really sure how to get that off. Um, so Brent is going in and he's calling our mechanic. Um, so, we tried turning it on and using it, and it is pumping hydraulic fluid to it, so that part is working, but we're not sure if the motor's working or if the cable is seized, so we're working on that. Um, right now we just got a nice fancy piece of baler twine holding it up because it's not hooked. We unhooked it from everything. So yeah, and um, as you can tell, it is extremely windy. Um, so I'm probably going to cut this video here because I don't think we're going to have time to move that cart today. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of what a crazy day is like trying to maintain equipment on a small farm. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please come back and watch another video and I'll see you guys soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Bye guys!